No bitches, she listen and get it, she with it, she know that it happens And fucking up dirty, she dirty with her bees that's lurking in all that back page Yeah, yeah, yeah Yo, shout out Mac Miller, rest in peace A goddamn legend But what is up guys, welcome to today's video It's your boy Lies, AK Moto Bro And we out here whipping it in the Scooby We got the Supermoto in the back And that's what this video is gonna be all about how to travel or how to tow your supermoto behind your car and if you don't want to do it the trailer way I'm gonna show you how to do it with just a hitch rack I think it's called a hitch rack a hitch bike mount rack hitch motorcycle rack if you're wondering what car it has I have a 2015 Subaru WRX and it's towing a DRZ 400 and it works like a flipping charm I went from Florida to New York all of East Coast pretty much back down to Florida Florida to California and I haven't had one single problem with the wreck the whole time actually I lied I've had one problem but it was my fault because I didn't strap it down tight enough and let me tell you one thing if you're like sketched out and you're like dude how are you gonna tow a supermoto behind the car? Like, that's not possible. It's gonna fall off. This is gonna happen. That's gonna happen. Like, it's just not possible. I'm here to clear that, clear the air and tell you it's flipping possible. You put your mind to it. All right, gang. We about to check. We about to check if the supermoto's all good. Bro, chilling. As you can tell, we in traffic. We out here. That's what you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta check up on the bike because it can get a little sketchy. So just check up on the bike, you know? Make sure the bike is feeling good. Make sure the straps are tight. And yeah. Woo! So we have made it. Let me get, let me grab that. Keep the setup. All right, gang, so I'm gonna tell you from start to finish how to set up your car to tow a supermoto. So first you gotta have you gotta have your U-Haul hitch. Then you get your adapter. I have a one fourth to two inch adapter with a four inch rise, as you guys can see, to a cycle gear rack. So I bought this rack used, but I'm pretty sure you can sell them or you can buy them off cycle gear for about 50 bucks, I think, or maybe 60, 70 around there. Either way, it's such a cheap rack, like for the price, but the quality is very good. I, like I said, I went from Florida to New York, New York back to Florida, Florida to Cali on this same exact hitch, and I haven't had one problem. That shows you how reliable this is. Yeah. And look what I just noticed. My, my freaking tail light's coming undone. I've been scraping it too far. There's all these cars flying by. Yeah! So my suggestion is any bike that weighs under 300 pounds, this setup can support. So any dirt bike pretty much, but once you get over 300 pounds, it's gonna get a little risky um, because it, the tongue weight is 350 on the adapter. The rack weighs 50, so if your bike weighs more than 300, you're gonna go over your tongue weight. And I swear, everyone's seeing me freaking record right now, so they're revving their engines while they're going past. It's all good though. So your boy got hella straps. That's the one thing, you gotta strap this thing up like crazy because look, as you can tell, look at this bro, it moves, but it ain't falling off. That's what I'm telling people, like it's gonna move, it's gonna move around like crazy, it's gonna be an earthquake, but it ain't gonna fall off. All right, boom, so let's take these off. Sim, sim on. Oh, I have the keys to the All right gang, so once you got all your, oh! Once you got all your straps off, you do not want to let the bike fall over. So put the bike on, you need a ramp or you need like a curb to get it up. But to get it off, it's pretty simple. Just rock it back and forth and roll it. And just like that, your sumo is to wherever you want it. Egypt, France, Holland, you can take it anywhere. Until next time. Woo, gang, you're a 
already know we out here. Ah! Ooh, we out here. We off roading. Ooh. I'm gonna pull some wheelies in the sand here. You know. But yeah, if you guys are thinking about putting a hitch on your car like that, how I have it, um, there's a few different ways you can do it. You can do it my way, or you could put a trailer. I know a homie who drives a Honda Civic, and uh, he has the same sort of setup, except he has an actual trailer behind his car, which has its ups and its downs. Uh, the Woo almost fell off. Uh, it has its ups and its downs. The, the ups are you can carry more than one bike. On mine, I can only carry one bike. And on his, you can carry, I think he carries three or four supermotors. Some crazy, some crazy number behind a Honda Civ. So it's possible to tow motorcycles behind the car. Because he's the second person I've seen do it. Whoo, we already know we gotta hit a DD. The downside of having a trailer like he does, I'm gonna put some pictures in so you guys can see. The downside is, um, oh my gosh, they really knocked everything down here. Uh, I keep getting my ADHD, but uh, what I was saying is the benefit of having a rack like mine and not a trailer is I can park anywhere. I don't need a big parking spot. I can literally fit in any parking spot there is in the world because it only like brings a, it only extends the back of my like car like um, probably about this much. Also on the highway, they have like trailer speeds or towing speeds. Like you can't go past the, uh, you can't go past like, I think it's like 55 on the highway if you're towing something, which sucks. So with my rack, I can go any speed I flip and want. Like there's some more models. <laughs> Hello. We down here. Some people taking pictures. You guys are right now. We at the wheelie spot. So yeah, the pros of mine is no towing speed. I can go any speed I want. I can park anywhere I want, but I can only carry one. The homie can carry four bikes, but he has towing speed and he can't park wherever the flip he wants. So. Uh, we're just pulling some wheelies, having some fun. Bro, they clean this out like crazy. And we up. Just like that. <laughs> All the birds and shit. Are those your scooters? Are those your scooters or no? no. I always no, Yeah, I always see them here. I, I don't know who they are. How long have they been here? Um, I mean, I came here like a week ago and they were here, so. Like three days ago, and they're still. Yeah. <laughs> you stopped right on time. Oh, like, uh, sh. Hell yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Lars. Derek. Nice to meet you. Casey. Nice to meet you. You guys taking photos or? Yeah, we're walking down. Oh, you're with them? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. Shit, if you want to take some photos of the bike, yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah. I mean, you're doing some wheelies or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me some Instagram photos, you know? Nice little scrape, Dave. Yeah, we're getting into this now. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Homie holding the light. <laughs> Are you just going around? Yeah, I usually come here and pull wheelies and stuff. Make a little, I have a YouTube channel, make a little video. I mean, I say I noticed the GoPro. Is that the Hero 3? Yeah, 3 plus black. Oh shit! Oh, nice. Yeah. Killing it, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna do a little burnout. Stay right there. Yeah, I will. I almost died right there. 
<laughs> my hand came off. Got a wall around my toe. How about something fast with my crew? You and knock off. I'm in Jimmy too. Bitches shaking ass just for a view. You can't come around. Only fuck with wheelie. Off road, boys. Ooh, I think it would bottom out right there almost. <laughs> Big Tonka trucks. All right, well, uh, we got a little off topic there with those photographers. I totally forgot where I left off about my rack. Oh yeah, as I left off at the benefits and uh, the non-benefits of having a trailer versus what I have. Oh, I also want to say one more thing. You might have to be careful uh, which car you have. Actually, probably not. I have uh, 18 by 10 and a half inch wheels on my Subi, so it sticks out a little. So if you have some wide rims or you lowered your car, you're definitely gonna have to roll your fenders because you're gonna be rubbing and dubbing. I, I was rubbing and dubbing all the way from Florida to Cali because I had so much crap with me, bro. I had so many, so much clothes and just random stuff I needed to bring to Cali that I was sagging hard, bro. I looked like a freaking bagged out car in the back. The front was lifted and the back was down. <laughs> so funny, bro. <laughs> I tried to wheel it up that little hill climb. Did not work. Ah, knee knock is still hurting a little bit. We can hit a freaking knee knocker. Nothing crazy, but we in sand and rocks with street tires. Ah, it's getting dark. We got to get back to the whip. We got to get real. I really want to show you guys how I put the Sumo back on the Subaru. <laughs> it gets so confusing. Sumo, Subaru. Sheesh. But, gang, I lost my ramp <laughs> that goes that helps me put my Supermoto on the back of my car, which is a bummer. I literally don't know how I left it. It's like... 40 pounds, it's like this big, and somehow it's gone. I don't know where the flip it went. I know, gang, you're probably like, yo, what the f are you doing? This is what happens when you lose your ramp to your hitch. You gotta find curbs and do ghetto ass stuff. I need a new ramp, so um, yeah, I'm gonna be moving my car like 100 times to get this perfect, but let's do it. Hey, the light turned on. And that's how you do it. Now let me grab the sumo and we're about to pop this bad boy on. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how I strap up my bike. It might be a little overkill, but when your setup is a little sketchy, um, sketchy, but still works and works amazing, you want to make sure you strap your bike up good because you don't want it falling off. So this is how your boy does it. Um, I did one over the seat. They say to not make this strap super tight because I guess it messes up the suspension. But I make it uh, just tight enough where it holds it in place. Then on the bars, I got two. I got my strong one and my weak cable. This is my weak one, as you can tell. My real strong strap right here. And it goes up to the bars, chilling. And then I got one last strap on the back just to hold the wheel from moving that way. Literally running this setup, I've only had one problem, and that was when it. Uh, my strap was loose on the highway and everyone hit their brakes and my bike fell into my trunk But besides that I've never had one issue with the rack and actually I've had no issues with the rack only the straps and um, You just gotta check your straps sometimes straps will get loose on you So if you're riding for like an eight-hour trip, maybe stop every two hours just to check the straps All right guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video uh, I hope you learned some stuff about the rack and how to travel with your supermoto behind your car 
or how to tr tow your supermoto behind your car. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you did. Stay motivated. I freaking love you. Until next video. Peace.